We have now entered one of the darkest eras in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. Thanks to the release of the Duelist Genesis, Dark Arm Dragon had metamorphosized into one of the strongest decks of all time, Teledad. And for the next several months, Teledad would obliterate almost everything in its path. Crossroads of Chaos and Dark Legends, both released in the latter half of November 2008, would introduce Black Rose Dragon, Plague Spreader Zombie, and Gore's Emissary of Darkness, but unfortunately, this only enabled Teledad to grow even stronger. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh's past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! <laughs> well, folks. Another week in the winner's circle. And what is our reward for our premier play? One of the worst formats of all time. I guess it's only fair that it turns to ash in my mouth, given that I only won because Simo failed to check his graveyard. Hey, but sometimes that's the difference between a W and an L, and we finally racked up enough of those Ws to tie the series up. So you might be surprised to know that even though dad format, one of the longest tier zero formats in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh lasted for almost eight months, there was a surprising variation of decks you can play. Why, you could play Dark Arm Dragon, you could play um, against Dark Arm Dragon, <laughs> there's, there's really not much to say here. On this wheel, we've got a bunch of different variants of the same deck, and truth be told, there is not a lot of difference in between each one of these. Gore's Dad comes out after the printing of Gore's, for example. Plasma Dad comes after people figure out that you maybe need one more target for Destiny Draw. These decks are pretty much interchangeable, and they dominate the metagame from about September of 2008 until the next ban list in March, in which Dark Arm Dragon is limited, Emergency Teleport is limited, and Destiny Hero Malicious is semied as well. I have no idea how we're going to do the next couple of episodes. Ideally, we would play a whole bunch of dad mirrors and you all would unsubscribe, but realistically, uh, we might move things along a little quickly from this position. So you saw a dad dad mirror last time. Hopefully this dad mirror will have a little bit of variance in it. Uh, we have, what, like eight or nine spins. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, waste too much breath. We'll get whatever we pick, I, I assume. Okay, with the exception of that, Zombie Dad is a build that plays Plague Spreader Zombie and Mizuki, and as much as you individuals want to see that, I know, I'm not going to give you that satisfaction. Uh, it topped a single time. It's by far the worst build of Dad that's on this wheel, so we're going to roll for something just a little bit better and more representative. Son of a bitch. Uh, we've got one more spin. I'm certainly hoping we don't hit that slice again. No way. I guess we're playing zombie, Dad. You know, after last episode, I have a bit of a problem. And the way that I remedied this problem the last time I had a problem similar to this, I made a sticky note. So... Just like I amended the issue of not being able to draw a card for the beginning of my turn, I now have a sticky note that says to check the goddamn graveyard so I don't fucking lose because I forgot to banish a fucking Necrogardna. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. We're not going to forget. So 
We are now entering one of the darkest periods in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, and that is the format of Teledad. As you can see, we have the illusion of choice here, and honestly, we don't have much choice at all because you can pick any deck you want as long as it has Dark Arm Dragon. So we have four different variants of Dark Arm Dragon that were playable around this time. One of the issues is that with the release of later sets like Crossroads of Chaos, Crimson Crisis, they didn't really have any cards that were going to trump what was considered the best deck of the format. And so that paired with the fact that these decks were overwhelmingly powerful and we weren't getting a ban list until March of 2009, this was a deck that was just taking over everything. Now, don't worry, we will be playing some of the other non-dad decks in the next episode so you guys get an idea of some of the other decks that were playable. But for now, it's all Dark Arm Dragon, baby. So first up, we have Teledad. You saw this in the previous episode completely by accident, but that's what it was. We have Plasma Dad, a deck that is very similar to Teledad, but it's actually playing Destiny Hero Plasma as a slight tech include to be able to get an edge up over the uh, mirror match, which you're going to be playing a lot of. We have Gores Dad, which is around this time, Gores was one of the most impactful cards to be released in Dark Legends. However, aside from the fact that you're playing Gores in a Dad deck, there really isn't much difference here. Some decks opted to play it, some didn't, but as Gores started to get circulated around, it's started making appearance in more decks than not. And finally, we have Zombie Dad. This was a very interesting list. It actually isn't a full-on zombie deck, but it's actually a dad deck that is taking advantage of the zombie cards to be able to do a lot of teledad sort of things, but having a supplementary zombie engine at the same time. So we thought we'd throw it on here as well. Let's go ahead and spin. I unfortunately only get two spins, so I only have one respin if I don't like my first one. And honestly, a lot of these decks are very identical aside for a few cards, so let's see what we get first. Well, we did play Teledad in the last episode, and honestly, all of these decks are some variant of Teledad, so I'm going to respin just to hopefully get something a little bit different. I think one of the biggest uh, notable changes was Plague Spreader Zombie was included in all these decks, but other than that, it was all pretty much the same, but uh, looks like we're actually going to be going with Zombie Dad. So here's the list. Uh, I gotta tell you, after rolling Zombie Dark Arm Dragon three spins in a fucking row, I was not particularly excited to play this, but looking at the deck, yeah, this kind of fucks. I'm a big fan of a lot of the stuff that's going on in here, and I hope that it's enough to take games off of admittedly much better decks like uh, the Teledad one that I am sure that Alex is playing. So, this is Afata Abdul's top 16 list from SJC Houston. Now, this event took place in January of 2009, which is why we have stuff like Gores, Black Rose Dragon, and the like, all within this 40 plus 15. However, it is unlikely that it is going to have the same consistency, the same explosivity, uh, or the same win rate as the normal Dark Arm Dragon lists. You know, there's a reason that there was only ever one Zombie Dad top, and you're likely to see it in the upcoming games. But I just tied up the series. Uh, no reason to not check out a little jank every once in a while. So let me go through each individual card and tell you how I hope it will play. First up is Armageddon Knight. This card has not been played too much in any of our previous Dad decks, or Dad decks in general. That's because it's just not a very good card. I know, shocking, right? There's a Malicious in this list and people aren't playing Armageddon Knight, but unfortunately, um, Armageddon Knight is a little worse than Dark Greffer, which is able to bin two cards, one from your hand and one from your deck, and Special Summon itself in a pinch, a very good way to manipulate the number of darks in the graveyard that we don't really have access to. There's not enough dark monsters to consistently pitch for that card. You can see we're on stuff like Mizuki and Psychic Commander, and the payoffs are a little less powerful than they would be otherwise. Uh, as a result, we really only need the one bin. And if you only need the one bin, you probably should play the card that doesn't require you to minus in order to do so. We've got two copies of Dark Arm Dragon, uh, not three. This card is a little bit bricky. I certainly uh, was playing some of the games prior with it stranded in my grip, and uh, the reason that it's a two will become clear pretty immediately. Unsurprisingly, we've got three Malicious with three Krebins and three Goblin Zombie. Now, this is a really weird card. If it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, they send the top card of their deck to the graveyard, and if it's sent to the graveyard, you can add a zombie monster with 1,200 or less defense from your deck to your hand. Now, we've got a couple of good targets here. Uh, Mizuki has 800 defense, Plague Spreader Zombie has 200 defense, and Zombie 
Heavy Master has zero defense. Now, this can screw up your opponent's dark count if you mill a sick card off the top, uh, but it also means that you can, if you have something like a Malicious Stranded in hand, Goblin Zombie for a Zombie Master, Normal the Zombie Master, Pitch the Malicious, Summon the Goblin Zombie, and you're off to the races. We've got Gores in here as well, uh, much better in our deck than in other ones because we're not really playing continuous traps like Royal Oppression, at least game one. We've got Triple Krebons, not surprising, Triple Mizuki, also not surprising. This card's fantastic at bringing back material for Synchro Summons or for OTKs at this point. Necro Gardner, we're only on one, which I'm a little upset about, but this is much better if you're playing Dark Greffer. It's just something that you can send to the graveyard in scenarios where you want to pitch something from your hand. Plague Spreader Zombie's a very good card, but really only once. Uh, <laughs> you can make a six with this, and of course Goyo Guardian is a very powerful card, but outside of that... It's basically a worse Krebons. Emergency Teleport is a much better card than this, and as a result, this was not a very well-represented card in lists outside of exactly this one. Psychic Commander and Zombie Master bring up the end. We've got Triple Allure of Darkness, uh, very good in this deck. Brain Control, Double Burial from a Different Dimension. This is a funny one, and I hope it pays off. Card Destruction is a really, really interesting pick. So we actually just want Mizuki's generally in the graveyard. Plague Spreader Zombies to be hanging out right above our deck. We don't necessarily care too much about maintaining the right number of darks in grave. And a well-timed card destruction can fuck up an opponent's hand very badly. If they have something like a Malicious in hand and one in grave already, whoops, looks like that Malicious is cut off for the rest of the game. Oftentimes, opponents will hold on to very specific cards in order to pitch them with Dark Greffer or summon a Dark Armed Dragon. Anything that summoning condition has not yet been met will never be met as long as we draw this card. Uh, finally, Gores, the Emissary of Darkness, is a powerful blowout card, but it is also very telegraphed. So if an opponent telegraphs it and we have lethal, we might as well destruct them out of it. We've got two card of safe return. This card, I think, is semi-limited at this point. Uh, unfortunate we can't play three, but it's so good in this list. Triple E, Telly, Double Foolish Burial, Giant True Nate, Heavy Storm, Lightning Vortex, Monster Reborn, and Crush Card Virus. And we are much better at activating this card than pretty much any other deck in the format. In the side, we've got Crow. Jar, a second Gardener, triple Lightsworn Hunter, two Mind Control, uh, two Royal Decree, triple Skill Drain, and double Threatening Roar. Extras fully pimped out, everything you want to see, triple Stardust Dragon, and an eight suite. Uh, fives and sevens because we're on MC out of the board. Doom Kaiser Dragon we can actually make, but I, I don't know if it's going to come up. All in all, I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this list. I think it's worse than the Dark Arm Dragon decks for sure, but if we can get uh, Alex to not check the graveyard one game, we maybe can get him to do it twice, and failing to check the graveyard versus this deck is a death sentence for sure. Well, it definitely resembles Teledad, that's for sure, but I like it because it's a different take on the deck, right? It's not just changing a couple of cards. There's actually quite a few changes here, and so we're gonna give it a shot. This is actually a list that took top 16 at SJC Houston in early 2000. 2009 and uh, this is probably one of the most differentiating dad lists you're going to find a lot of them are only like one or two cards different like when crossroads of chaos came out plague spreader zombie and black rose uh, dragon made their way into these decks and that was it like everything else is almost exactly the same people are fighting over like whether or not to play cards like armageddon knight breaker the magical warrior things like that maybe snipe hunter spirit reaper those were the like minute changes these decks were making but aside from that they were almost identical so this is the deck we're bringing today really excited to see it so let's go ahead and do the card by card first up armageddon knight nice and simple just dumps a dark to help us get to dark arm dragon we can just dump necro valley it's also cool because uh, plague spreader now being in this deck makes armageddon knight a little bit more live and so that gives us access to some cool plays right off of him two dark arm dragon it's still semi-limited but it's still just as devastating and three destiny hero malicious the only hero we're playing in the deck but it's nice because we have a lot of tuner access and this just allows us to go for some absolutely crazy synchro plays as we saw in the previous previous episode. Three Goblin Zombie. This is actually a card that hasn't really seen much play aside from like the couple of zombie decks that have been doing well at the time thus far. If it inflicts battle damage to the opponent, you send the top card of their deck to the graveyard. That can almost be a bad thing in this deck sometimes. But if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you add a zombie with 1200 or less defense from your deck to your hand. So what's nice is that if you use this as a synchro material as well, you are then able to actually generate advantage off of it. So it's a nice way to just keep a nice fresh supply of cards coming to the hand. And it's a 
nice sort of like recruiter-esque effect, but it doesn't have to be killed in battle, similar to something like, let's say, Mystic Tomato. And there's a lot of good zombies you can pull off of this card. This deck is playing Gores, and so we are technically playing a Gores Dad list, but this is like the only deck of its kind that looks like this. So that's perfectly fine. Three Krebons, of course. Three Mizuki. This card was courtesy of Premium Pack 1. And this is one of the cards that allowed zombies to have any sort of foothold in the meta. Reason for that is you can banish Mizuki from the grave, target a zombie monster in the graveyard, and special summon it. Since we're playing a fair bit of zombies, and one of which is a tuner, this also allows for some synchro plays into like Goyo Guardian because it is a level 4. You could go Mizuki and another 2 to make a Goyo, and then you could banish Mizuki, get one of your guys back. And then if you have like Emergency Teleport or Plague Spreader in Grave, you can bring that back and go again. Just has some more combo capabilities in the deck for sure. The one Necro Garden, a two Plague Spreader Zombie. Most decks were playing one, but because we have a zombie focus, I think we want to play two. One Psychic Commander. This is another card we can get off of Emergency Teleport. Not as good as Krebons, but it's okay, and does have a level three instead of a level two, which allows us to go to some other plays more easily, like Black Rose Dragon with any of our level fours. Wrapping up, we have one Zombie Master. Since we are playing a zombie-focused deck, this is a nice card. It's also fetchable off of Goblin Zombie, so since it's searchable, we only really need to play the one. What's nice is that cards like Zombie Master, Goblin Zombie, Plague Spreader are also all dark, so we're executing a game plan by trying to just revive a bunch of dudes to the field to make some crazy synchro plays, but we're still going for the dad plan at the same time. That's why I really like this deck. For the spells, three Allure, one Brain Control, two Burial from a different dimension. This card's important in this deck because being able to recycle not only Malicious, but Mizuki is absolutely huge. So while this card doesn't generate advantage by itself, it does allow us to just set up for some other plays later on. Card Destruction's big in this deck because we don't really care about a lot of the cards being in our hand most of the time. So getting cards like Malicious, Plague Spreader, Necro Garda, you know, all this stuff in Grave, even Mizuki, it's fine because getting a fresh new hand, we use the graveyard like a second hand in this deck. And so while other decks can do that as well, I think zombies make a particular emphasis on that strategy. Two card of safe return, since we have a bunch of monsters that can revive monsters from the graveyard, Mizuki, Zombie Master, hell, even Plague Spreader can revive itself too. This card will allow us to draw cards in addition to that, which is just insane. I really hope that this comes up. Three emergency teleport, two foolish burial, still can't believe this card is not limited. One giant true nade, heavy storm, lightning vortex as a board wipe. I actually don't hate this. Monster reborn, and the only trap card we are playing is crush card virus. I kind of like this because we're playing a deck that wants to be very, very aggressive. So even if we're going second, we can try to just get a ton of damage on board very quickly. And if we go first and happen to draw crush card, so be it. For the extra deck, Black Rose Dragon does make its debut. A fantastic level seven synchro. When it's synchro summoned, you can destroy all cards on the field. It has a second effect, which can come up at times, but we're not really playing plant, so it doesn't matter too much. This is basically just a gigantic board wipe. Three Colossal Fighter, one Doom Kaiser Dragon. This is a card that does require Plague Spreader Zombie, and since we're playing two of it, it could come up more likely in our deck than others, but you also specifically need a zombie type non-tuner in order to summon this. So since we are playing zombies, we do get access to this. When it's special summon, you can target a zombie in your opponent's graveyard and special summon it to your field in attack position. Destroy it if this card leaves the field. Kind of sucks because like there's not really many zombies in the opponent's graveyard, maybe a Plague Spreader, so that could be nice to be able to then go up into another level eight synchro. There is some potential there, but we'll see. Three Goyo. Goyo can just be made so easily in this deck, so it makes sense that this deck is maxing out. Magical Android, Psychic Life Transfer. These are just two just life point gaining cards that could maybe come up. They're also five and seven, which aren't the most common ways to make synchros, but it could happen. Red Dragon Archfiend to just nuke board, Stardust Dragon to protect our board, and one Thought Ruler Archfiend. For the side deck, DD Crow is a nice card to interrupt the opponent. We have Morphing Jar if we want to go in with the card destruction strategy. Another Necro Garden, a three Ryko if we need to get rid of anything weird. Two Mind Control. Mind Control just becomes exceptionally good right now because being able to just sink away your opponent's stuff is fantastic. And then for the traps, two Royal Decree to lock down any traps Joseph might be on. Three Skill Drain if you're going up against decks like Gladiator Beast. I don't think you really play this for the mirror. And two Threatening Roar so you don't get OTK'd. Nice and simple. I can't wait. I think this deck's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of crazy combo shenanigans to be had for sure. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Joseph, welcome to episode two of the Dark Arm Dragon <laughs> Showcase. I uh, hope you're ready for another 10 episodes of this. It's going to be a ton of fun, don't you think? Are we going to rebrand as the history of Dark Arm Dragon? Because I'm down. You might you as know. well. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, you weren't playing during this time, right? No. And yeah, both I of us took our hiatuses, I believe, at this time. Yeah, and I think you'll probably see why. Uh, this was a miserable format uh, by all accounts. Um, 
everyone I've spoke to who stuck with it just wishes they had just uh, waited until the March 2009 ban list, and you all might see why pretty shortly. Yeah, and we really just want to make people feel the pain of Dark Arm Dragon, you know? If yeah. people who actually played Yu-Gi-Oh! had to suffer for seven months of this, people watching our series can suffer for two episodes of it. <laughs> yeah, and listen, they didn't have anything to distract themselves with back then. If you hated the no. TCG, what else were you going to do? You couldn't play Speed Duels, you couldn't play Duel Links, you had to grin and bear it. You didn't even get mid-roll ads. And here's where you they, put the mid-roll ads. They might have to go to Magic the Gathering. Oh, uh, my God. Well, uh, that Magic might have been the Gathering was famously good in 2008. <laughs> right before Lorwyn release? Yeah, I can't think of any, uh, <laughs> any extenuating circumstances there as well. How did card games survive? I don't know. I, I, I still think just like the raw passion that fans have for these games have what is what has kept Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic and Pokemon going for this long, but that's for another video, I true, think. But true. I'm ready if you are, buddy. I think this will be fun. Yep. Uh, it'll be interesting to show off, hopefully, some different aspects of this format. And uh, I'm ready if you are. I am also ready. Let's uh, let's <laughs> let's make it happen. So you've got the uh, rock paper scissors generator up in front of you. So what? What? Do you, how many times am I refreshing, buddy? Your luck has not been too good on this. Oh, so what are you my going luck! For? My luck! Yeah, this is a truly <laughs> random generator that's pulled scissors eight times in a row. All right, let me get four refreshes. Okay, is that is that for any reason or? It's for me to win a fucking RPS finally. <laughs> okay, sure. So we'll go one. Two, three, four. Okay, so it's paper. Would you like to try again? Son of a bitch. Not really. All right. Uh, <laughs> let me get four again. You know what? Four worked the first time. <laughs> we'll go for it again. You know, we tied again. All right. Gonna go get four more. <laughs> How about four more years of Dark Arm Dragon? How about that? <laughs> I'm gonna do four one more time. Yeah. All right, and unfortunate, unfortunately for you, it's scissors. Hmm, how interesting. Wow, this is I uh, did very it 12 shocking. times, motherfucker. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah. else you want from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be I, fair, every time I've been doing this, I've just been losing, so I should just, like, make it pick rock. Oh, this is, uh, this is an interesting hand. I would have to agree. Good luck, buddy. Yeah, uh, good luck to you too. Joseph, how do you like your hand? Uh, it's okay. All right, I am going to do one of the most basic plays that this deck possibly can, and normal summon Kreba. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about that, buddy. Do what you gotta do. And I, with that, will set one and pass the turn. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Anything in standby? No, you're fine. Oh, well, this is interesting. This is very, very interesting. I was almost tempted to do nothing. I'll be honest with you. I, I feel like the entirety of us spending our time in this format, doing nothing sometimes seems like the correct play. Uh, I am going to set one and pass my turn. Okay. <laughs> A similar situation, I see. Uh, my hand's decent, but I don't really want to commit to anything. I, I think that you are pretty much in the same boat as me, where we've got hands that do stuff, but doing stuff loses to so much. Right, exactly. I would have to agree. All right, uh, we'll go to main one then. You know what? I'm just going to go to battle. Sure. I will hit with the Krebon. Show right. me the Sangan. I'm not going to show you the Sangan. I'm going to show you the Goblin Zombie. Ooh, okay. Sure. All right, I'll sure. trigger this effect. I'm going to go grab a zombie monster, and the card I'm going to grab is... There's a lot of targets for this, I believe. You don't know how much I want to get Zombie Master here, uh, but I'm not it's going so tempting. to. I'm going to get Mizuki. Main two... Mm -hmm. Well, this complicates things a little bit. Doesn't it, though? You know, I think I'm just going to pass. Go ahead, buddy. Stand by main, and now I must count. Okay, we are always doing this. I'm going to Lightning Vortex pitching Necro Gardener. Gross. All right, sure. I'm going to Normal Summon Mizuki. Going to e Telly. I will. e Telly here. Of course. Yep. That's like that's what's so good about this deck, right? Yeah. Being able to just like do this, you can do so many crazy things. Uh, anything at resolution. Oh, you're good. All right, I'm going to send these two to the graveyard. We're going to grab ourselves a Goyo Guardian. Is that okay with you? That's fine. I'm going to Foolish Burial here. Okay. I'm going to send a Mizuki to the graveyard. Sounds pretty good. Uh, deciding if I actually want to send a Mally instead. I That might be the play. What's cool is that this deck too just has, I believe, a lot of Foolish Burial targets, right? And they're like proactive on top of it. I got into the zombie feels. I forgot that, oh, you can also just play good cards. All right. Yeah, we'll send a Mally instead. Okay. Uh, I'll activate the Mally effect. Sure. e -telly number two. Jesus Christ. Yeah, tell me about it, buddy. Anything at res. Nah, you're good. All right, we're going to make Stardust here. 
Okay. I'm trying to see if I have a way to lethal, but I don't think I do. I think you're a little bit short. I'm 200 off, I think, any way I slice it. But let me just make sure that that's the case before I do something extremely stupid. You gotta be fucking with me. I think at maximum, I am... 300 off lethal. If you go with like a colossal fighter or something. And keep in mind, you don't know one of the cards in my hand. That's true. That's just true. You could have another card. I think no matter what, your setup's going to be looking pretty nice after this. Yes, my setup is going to be looking pretty goddamn dope. All right. Uh, I'll just make Stardust here. Okay. That seems like a pretty safe option. Anything at resolution? You are fine. All right. We're going to go for another Mally. All right. Let's get this bad boy in attack position. And uh, we can Mizuki out the goblin zombie here. Is that smart? We've got one card in grave. If I accidentally send a second, it's not super difficult for you to make dad. All right, let, let's uh, let's go for the uh, Mizuki here, targeting the goblin zombie. Sure. Uh, battle phase. All right, take eleven. And Eight. We will mill a card. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch! You're playing the same goddamn deck. How did we do this again? Oh my god! All right, I was hoping you around. wouldn't see it. <laughs> I was hoping that this wasn't the case. Uh, second main, and you're good to go, buddy. The good thing is, I mean, at least now you know I'm on this. If I got out of this game without you seeing it, I was hoping you were gonna like miss side for it appropriately. But uh, unfortunately, too, Mizuki isn't a dark. I really wish he was, but yeah. I will draw. All right, uh, got my work cut out for me here, I gotta say. So we're gonna have to figure out how we want to navigate this. Uh, I'm checking the graveyard, since apparently I cannot do that the past two games. You have a Necro Guard. No, ah, so son of a bitch. Of I thought I was gonna get I it mean, I, Oh no, 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 no. I, I've lost to this card too many times at this point, both on your end and on my own end. So I need to actually do something smart for once. Okay, the good thing is getting me at this exact amount of damage is nice for you simply because now I can't like brain control you or do anything that like pays life points essentially. So There's I have to be a, a little bit careful off. on how I build my- All right, uh, after a lot of deliberation, I think I know what I'm going to do. So I am going to start by normal summoning my plague spreader zombie. I'm going to monster reborn my Mizuki. Ah, uh, that's pretty strong, yeah. We will bring him back. I'm going to sync up. Thinking about what I want to summon here, I don't know if it matters all that much. I'd actually be surprised if you had targets that weren't Goyo. I guess you're thinking about Doom Kaiser Dragon. Yes, because I can make Doom Kaiser here. I don't like really think it matters, to be honest. I'm thinking if there's like any advantage or disadvantage to making it. It doesn't have like the dark typing or anything. So okay, I'll just make it Goyo. Whatever. Uh, I will now E Telly, and with my E Telly, we will grab the Crebons. There he is. And with these two, we are going to sync for a Thought Ruler Archfiend. Yep, sounds good. And I will drop a Dark Arm Dragon. There he is. He has appeared. So we're going to go to battle. I will attack over your Stardust with Dad. Uh, I am not super happy about this, but yeah, I'll take the, uh, the three here. And then I will go Thought Ruler into... Uh, I mean, if I'm cleaning up the board, I don't know if it really matters all that much. Yeah, we'll, we'll go into Goblin Zombie. This is 16, and then I'll gain 11. Sure. Uh, I'll trigger Goblin Zombie. It's probably Zombie Master. Okay. So we got Zombie Master. Uh, main 2, I think we are going to have a cleanup on aisle 5 here and yep. get rid of everything else you've got. So we'll banish our two Crebons. We'll kill your two dudes. Not ideal. And so you have Zombie Master, a random card in hand, and then you're going to draw to a card as well. Uh, you still have the Necro Gardener. Uh, you actually have four Darks in Grave. So you're actually, you can't <clears throat> dad at the moment. There are ways we can manipulate because we obviously do have uh, Burial from a different dimension. I can say that since we're playing the same deck. I think I might be okay with this. Zombie Master, you can pitch, get Goblin Zombie back. I think I'll just pass on this. Go ahead, buddy. Well, I guess I'll put you on better habit. Uh, brain control targeting your dad. Fuck me. Yeah, I, I, you had, that was the last card in your hand, wasn't it? Go ahead. Let's uh, activate Dad here. Banish Trebons target your back row. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, that's enough. You know, Joseph, it had to be fucking brain control. It had to be brain control. There's like very few cards that were going to get you out of that situation. Yeah, pretty brain much exactly. Yeah, it was. Yep. yep. Well, you know. I, I had no uh, way to get. 
I, I had no way to get any extra damage on the board, so uh, unfortunately, just it, uh, maybe I could have, but I don't know. It was hypotheticals. I mean, certainly any way to get damage on the board probably would have lost harder to Necro Gardna. It's, it's a hard yeah. call to make, whatever. Well, good luck, buddy. Uh, <laughs> good luck to you, too. Uh, not sure like about that. this one. We'll see. We'll see. I will draw. Main one, uh, similar predicament to the last time we played this deck. I almost just don't want to do anything, which mm -hmm. kind of sucks. I am just going to set one. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll draw anything in standby? No. Yeah, I guess not. Okay, uh, main one, I'm going to activate Allure of Darkness. Sure. Son of a gun, how am I doing this? All right, so the set card is always Goblin Zombie, right? This could be anything. Pretty much could always be anything. Goblin Zombie. <laughs> hey, there's we side deck Ryko, sir. It could be Ryko. <laughs> I don't know what all this we stuff is about. I ain't side decking Ryko. <laughs> You're free to side deck whatever you want. This is so stupid. I'm going to banish freaking Dark Arm Dragon. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, equally dog shit. Okay, oh, he has a Goblin Zombie too. Perfect. Well, how I'll good draw. is Dark Arm Dragon really? We're on two copies of the card and half our monsters are Earth. Yeah, it's just awful. Just terrible. Just an absolute, like, why are we even playing it? Just True. a miserable card. And we're just having a fucking staring contest because, like, if any one of us does anything, I feel like they might turn on the other player's hand. Oh, buddy, I'm, I'm turned on as is. I'm just waiting for you to commit. As, as soon as you uh, lay down a monster, you're going to reap the world. Wind. It's gonna be. I over have a monster you, laid down. You didn't do anything. Well, well, well. A monster that's not goblin zombie. Fair, fair. Okay. If that's right, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look like such a <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> You know what, buddy? You know what, buddy? I'll play your game. I'm going to set one, set one pass. Go yes. ahead. Stand by main. Good. Well, uh, hand me the Ryko, buddy. I'm going to mind control your newest monster. <laughs> Oh, God. You can have him. There you go. This is not Ryko. <laughs> uh, okay. Were you hoping uh, it was going to be Plague Spreader so you could, like, sink off? <laughs> uh, I can still sink off. I've got a Plagues of my own, but... Okay. Let's, uh, let's send these to the grave, I suppose. There's just no good play around exactly Goblin Zombie. If you have no. Goblin Zombie, you could just do the whole <laughs> fucking thing no matter what. All right, I'm going to show off one of the very few interesting cards in this deck, Doom Kaiser Dragon. This will get you my Mizuki because on Synchro Summon, you can steal a zombie out of my graveyard, which Mizuki happens to be. So there you go, buddy. Uh, And then I will trigger Plague Spreader Zombie. I'm going to put... Mizuki actually goes to attack position actually after reading the card, but go ahead and trigger Plague. That's fine. I'm gonna oh, you're going to sync with it Yeah, anyway. this card on top of my deck, I'll sync with the Plague Spreader, and I might as well go through the motions in order to uh, give our non-plague-adjacent viewer base an understanding of what this card does. Place a card on top of the deck, and then you will special summon it from the grave, but it gets banished if it leaves the field after that. All right, we'll go for Goyo. Uh, here's the frustrating part about this line. If I Goblin zombie? Phase, <laughs> goblin zombie, it's still going to trigger, because Goyo only triggers if it sends a card to the graveyard, which means that it's not like it's avoiding the graveyard. All right, I'll flip summon my own goblin zombie. Let's go to battle. Do I even care? Do I just want the damage? No, it's just a little too tantalizing. If it's a fucking plague spreader, I'm gonna I'm literally gonna nut if it's a plague spreader, but there's no way you wouldn't have done a six of your own. Okay, let's let's find out. It is goblin zombie. Son would you like to take bitch. it? I don't know if I would! I don't know if I would, because if it goes to the grave, you're just gonna trigger it again. It doesn't care. Exactly, who that's what on. sucks about this card in the mirror man! Get the goddamn goblin zombie, let's go. Are you going to take it? No. Okay. All right. All right. So I will trigger the zombie. Uh, what's cool is this card can actually search itself. I don't know if I want to search it, but it's uh, cool? just a neat little thing it can do. Yeah, it's, I think it's neat. That's pretty nifty, I guess. I guess we'll go for a zombie master. Yeah. I'd hope to do Not this bad. a little more explosively. Instead, I'm going to have to be satisfied with a maximum 3,500. Mill your goddamn Mizuki. Oh, thank God. Foolish burial. And I'll take 24. Uh, I got nothing to do. Uh, go ahead. I mean, you did something. It you, was a uh, turn, but it loses to every removal spell in the universe and brain control. That's correct. That is correct. All right. Now, let's see what we can do. Where do we begin? All right. I feel this turn's going to get insane, and I'm probably not going to play it correctly, knowing how I've played these past several games. I'm going to start with a card of safe return. Oh, son of a bitch, dude. Oh, my God. You've got Mizuki Zombie Master. Holy shit. You're going to draw your whole deck. I'm just deciding how uh, how I need to do this properly. All right, let's start with the Zombie Master. I'm going to pitch 
Krebons. I'm going to target the goblin zombie. I'm gonna ghost bell and haunted mansion. <laughs> yeah, get your zombie master. Okay, so goblin zombie will come out, trigger card of safe return. I will draw a card. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, okay, next we're gonna e telly. Oh, come on. That's interesting, all right. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, let's grab... All right, we'll go for the Krebons. <laughs> Toying with the idea Shocker. of Psychic Commander there. <laughs> thinking about it, thinking about it. Uh, there, There's some things you could do. Okay, then next we will sync with these two for a Goyo of our own. You know what's really cool? Unlike similarly worded cards like uh, Dupe Frog, if you synchro summon with Goblin Zombie, you get the search. Fantastic. <sighs> so we will trigger the Goblin Zombie. Yep. Uh, with the Goblin Zombie, I'm going to grab Plague Spreader. That's a good one. <laughs> Next, uh, we're going to use the Mizuki here. Bring back the Goblin Zombie. Yep. Trigger card of safe return. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, that might change things. Then... Uh, next, I'm going to reborn back a Krebons. God damn, dude. Wow. Trigger card to safe return. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that actually changes things even more now. Oh. <laughs> this card. How is this card allowed? Yeah. There's no way this card should be legal. This is so fucking just apps. This is ridiculous. This is so dumb. Now, you've only drawn three cards this turn. You just also have added three. Uh, and we're going to add some more here, too, I think. So we're yeah. going to sink again for another Goyo Guardian. Yeah. <laughs> Trigger the Goblin Zombie because it's not once per turn. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Uh, this time we will grab a, oh, I don't know. Let's grab a Mizuki. You've got to be almost out of targets. You've got one more Mizuki, one more Plague Spreader, two more Goblin Zombie. Holy shit. I'm going to brain control your Goyo. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm going to lightning vortex your boar. <laughs> okay, yep. Uh, I'm not done though, Joseph. I'm going to go ahead and banish for Mizuki, <laughs> summon a goblin zombie, and draw another card. Mm -hmm. uh, and then let's. Uh, oh, actually, this is terrible. Gores is in the format, isn't it? That oh. sucks. All right. Well, if you have Gores, you have Gores. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. I'll attack for 11. <laughs> I'll take the 11. Uh, then I'll mill. And then 18. Are right, you ready? This top card of my deck, I can just tell you right now, is Necro Gardener. Son of a bitch. All right. 1800. <laughs> 28. 28. Uh, at resolution. You got him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did not! Oh, man. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. Oh, my God. That second yeah. game, I feel like I had a huge explosive turn where I made a whole bunch of synchros, and then you said, uh, not only am I going to make more synchros, uh, I'm going to draw six cards in the process. Uh, yeah. It's so crazy that these decks are so explosive, so powerful, and also so dog shit compared to normal Dark Card <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> I think it's cool, though. It's just showing off another axis of the deck, right? Exactly, but you yeah. get to go first this time, and uh, I'm a little bit worried about that because... Are you? Are going scary. first yeah. for the last couple of games have been, what, set one pass? Set, pass, set, pass, set, pass, set, pass. <laughs> I know you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll draw. All right, let's go to main one. Yep. Uh, you know, my board might be as boring as yours. I will set, and I'm going to set one, two. Go ahead. I'm going to normal summon a copy of Armageddon. That is fine. All right, I'm going to trigger the effect. I'm going to send a copy of Malicious to the grave. Banish the Malicious. Okay. Anything? Nope. All right, e tell. Uh, it's pretty good. Sure. And I'm going to get Krebins, anything at res. You motherfucker, I know every single card in your deck. What are you thinking about? <laughs> if you're going to crush card virus my board full of dumb idiots, do it. See what happens. I kind of have to because otherwise you just make Stardust here and Stardust, then I can't crush maybe. card you at all. All right, what yeah, do we got? So I, I am going to crush card you here, actually. Plagues. So let's see it. All right, ready? Probably Here's a goblin get. zombie. Mizuki. Oh, okay. And nothing. <laughs> you get nothing. <laughs> wow, look how crap that is oh my god that's like as good as my hand was last game to be fair but that's wow fair, yeah. that's insane it's, it's okay, a little sure. bit of a cracked hand uh well shit now i got some decisions to make can you kill me yeah i mean uh, let's go for it uh krebins and mally to the grave we'll go ahead and get ourselves a stardust dragon uh oh, i didn't expect to get this far okay mally <laughs> sure grab another one that's why I had to crush card when I did, because, you know, then Stardust would just negate it. So. Exactly. Um, so you have Reborn e Telly as your only other two cards, because uh, you've already normaled? I mean, you, that, that's two more monsters. That's a lot. That represents two more tuners, so you could make... I'm going to tell you. Okay, there's here. the e Telly. 
Sure. So this is either a Goyo or an eight of some sort. I think if you don't have it, you're very close. That's why I'm concerned. <laughs> oh, God, if I just had a card that pitched a card, like literally any card that's like discard a card from your hand, I would win. <laughs> okay, we're going to eat Telly for Krebens after a 45 turn uh, thought process. <laughs> Uh, these two to the grave. Wait, am I- am I the stupidest man who ever lived? Oh, I have this six ways from Sunday. Uh, Thought Ruler Archfiend. Uh, yeah? Reborn targeting the Mizuki. I didn't want to just tell you how to lethal me, but- How you know, am I yeah. so yeah. stupid? <laughs> Attack my monsters! Do 8,000! You're gonna be doing zero, sir. Oh, I it's have a threatening, threatening roar. roar. Son of a bitch. Yes. All right, no big deal. Threatening roar is nothing to me. Actually, it's a huge amount to me. Oh, I did so much for that. That was my whole hand. You did. Okay, well, uh, good luck to you, buddy. Can you out Stardust Dragon Thought Ruler Archfiend? You know, that is the question that I need to answer. <laughs> we will see. <laughs> All right, we will draw. So I know your hand is Krebon's Plague, we which do. is... And they're two good ones. They are two pretty good ones. They are good ones. ones because as long as you have the fours on the field, they represent being able to do something. But at the same time, Stardust and Thought Ruler also represent cards that can just kill me at any moment. This is complicated, but I think I, I, think I have the play. All right, so I'm going to start with a normal summon of Armageddon Knight. Pretty good one. With that, hmm. I'm going to send a zombie master to my graveyard. Send a zombie master. Foolish burial. Uh-oh. Send Mizuki. That's fine. Banish Mizuki for zombie master. I have learned why you would send zombie master. <laughs> zombie master effect. I'm going to pitch plague spreader to summon plague spreader. Sheesh. I am going to sink uh, these two into a Goyo Guardian. Yep. I'm going to use Plague Spreader Engrave. I'm going to put this card to the top of my deck. I'm going to bring out Plague Spreader. Also okay. Going to banish and sync again for a second Goyo Guardian. This isn't perfect, obviously. What this does achieve is I can go into battle here. I can do a couple of things. So I can either hit over your big synchros and steal them, which is cute, but I know you have Krebon's Plague in hand. So right. you have a way to basically do exactly what I just did this turn. And uh, then we're back into the good old days of the Goyo Guardian ping pong match. Right. I don't exactly know how much I like that. In alternative line is I could just go and attack over both of your little guys, steal them so you can't do those plays, and then Stardust and Thought Ruler just kind of sit there. They can't get over a 28. You know, I actually kind of like that better, so I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna swing into the Mizuki. All right, I'll take 900 here. Uh, 1100. Okay, I, I'm not very good at math, as you may have learned from my previous turn. <laughs> Uh, would you like well, him? Well, I mean, you didn't know about Threatening Roar. I think I do want to take him because, I mean, you can get him in your grave again anyway, but I'd rather you waste the battle phase to do so, so that's right. fine. Uh, and then I will hit into the Armageddon for 14. And I think I will take this as well. Sure. So with this Armageddon Knight, then, I'm going to dump... Uh, got a few options. Part of me wants to send Necro Gardna to kind of fend off any bullshit you might do. Yeah, I'll dump I'll dump the Mali. So then uh, main two, I unfortunately can't do anything else with these two. So because uh, I don't have another card, I can get rid of for Plague's better. So that'd be nice. Uh, I'll just pass on this, buddy. Go ahead. All right, I've got a lot that wins the game. Uh, Lure of Darkness is fine, even though I'm under Crush card. Uh, brain Control, of course, is crazy. Mind Control is even good. Anything that gets material on my side of the field is pretty decent. Zombie Master could potentially do something. There's a lot. Okay. Well, Zombie we Master go. loses to Crush Card, but yeah. <laughs> what is it? Wow. It's a good one. Okay. All right. Uh, so I imagine we'll be firing that off. Yeah, I imagine you will be. I'm going to send Goblin Zombie. And unfortunately, this sucks ass, but Battle Face. Uh, we're going to go into Mizuki. It's not bad. I mean, you, heal, you kill the Mizuki, then you can get Goblin Zombie back. So at least you're doing something. Yeah. Okay, both of those go. Second main, we're going to banish Mizuki targeting Goblin Zombie. Sure. Deciding what I want to normal summon here. Uh, you also gained life points with Thought Ruler. Yo! So you I'm attacked into Armageddon with Thought Ruler, so you gained 14. Sure, I'll take it. I'm going to normal summon a Plague Spreader Zombie. <laughs> sure. I was so focused on the zombie portion, I forgot that it also needs plagues. Oh, for Doom Kaiser. Oh, it's going to come up. <laughs> right. We're going to trigger goblins on me here. I think I'm getting Mizuki, as silly as it sounds. 
Uh, I'm going to trigger Doom Kaiser Dragon. Sure. Gonna I want to take my Zombie, zombie Master. master. Uh, I'm going to trigger a Zombie Master. I'm going to send Mizuki. I am going to grab back Plague Spreader. We'll go Plague Spreader, Zombie Master. Let's make Goyo. Deciding if there is a reason to go for an A tier. Let's Mizuki here. Special the Plague Spreader. And we'll go into Colossal Fighter. He's a big boy, big boy. I love how none of this like loses to crush card on top of it. I will draw. I'm gonna start by banishing a Mally for a Mally. Sure. Get this I was out of the deck. Really hoping that you would just fucking draw the Mally for turn. Uh, that that would be great, right? That would be great. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna fire this plague spreader in grave by putting this card to the top of my deck. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're just doing onboard uh, tricks. Yeah, I'm gonna go for my own colossal fighter now. Yep. I'm gonna go to battle. Yep. Uh, so I believe both of our colossal fighters are the same attack. Yes. Uh, they are. Yeah. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. So I have that written up there. Okay. So I'm gonna go colossal into Goyo. I'll take four hundred here. Then Goyo into Archfiend. Yep. And I'll take it. There you go. And then I'll go this into Stardust for 300 and take that as well, uh, which is, you know, not bad. Not bad. It's, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Uh, I will pass on that, buddy. Go ahead. All right, buddy. Uh, believe it or not, this is the second turn on Crush Card. So let's go ahead and see what you got. No. All in due time, Alex. I'm going to go to the what? battle phase and attack Stardust. <laughs> to show me the card oh you're you're about to see the card you're about to see it <laughs> okay fine i'll play along so stardust will die eventually there we go and now for the lightning vortex i drew for turn <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking kidding me dude oh my god oh well this you know. is such garbage <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, we still both have like full life points, so this isn't over yet, but I have to take out a fucking colossal fighter. Unfucking believable. Uh, this colossal fighter goes to about 10 quadrillion attack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because Goyos are warriors, colossal fighters are warriors, so now it is. I have five warriors in my grave. How many and do you I've have? I've got one, two, three in mine. So, okay, so 3,600. 3,600. All right, back to you, buddy. This is insane. I can't believe we're in a fucking top deck war, except you have fucking Colossal Fighter on your side. How the fuck was the card that you drew of all things? Unfucking believable Fuck, I hate Crush Card. I fucking hate Crush Card. It's a good card, buddy. It's simply good. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Go ahead. I knew what I was drawing because of Plague Spreader Zombie. Last turn on Crush Card, and you know what you get is a Goblin Zombie. <laughs> I don't know why I kept this card in. This was so I, I bored it out of it. I think it sucks. I was looking. Yeah. I was like, I should play this card. And then I looked at my monsters and I was like, this hits nothing. It's not even yeah. a board wipe. All right, battle yep. phase. Uh, Goblin zombie in. Well, ideally, I mean, if you don't have a way to make Stardust or if you're already committed to a board of Synchros, then Crush Card seems pretty good, right? Yep. But Third Mally. Let's <sighs> see it. Let's see it. Please be good. Oh, well, okay. So I take 36 uh, from this. All right, I guess this is the moment of truth. Let's see it. Wow, that, that is exactly what I wanted. Not what I like to hear, buddy. <sighs> okay, uh, banish Mally for Mally. Two draw phases, no Mally. When am I ever getting rewarded for this? I will normal summon Krebons. That's a, that's a good one. It's not bad. Uh, I will make a, another Colossal Fighter. Yes! This is what we're doing. Uh, so both of our Colossal Fighters, I think, are still 36, right? One, two, three, four, five. I think you probably still have three in your grave. One, two, three. Yeah, so they're both still 36. You know, I guess I'll hit into Goblin Zombie. Uh, so sure. that'll be, what, 25 off of your life? I'll take 25 and I'll trigger Goblin Zombie. Go Shocking ahead. I still have targets. Uh, let's go grab Zombie Master. That seems pretty good. All right, go ahead. Stand by main. I, I, I'm, I'm just so goddamn good at Yu-Gi-Oh. There's just no, nothing to it. Mind con the colossal fighter. <laughs> I'm, I'm just too cracked, buddy. I, I don't know what to hate tell you. Game. I fucking I'm hate I'm the this colossal game. fighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh god even gores can't save you now 3700 attack get in there buckaroo oh you know what a I, travesty i felt so good because i had this dd crow 
So any like so what you could have done was and I was expecting you to do this until you drew fucking mind control was any way to get like a synchro or like a body and then you could have just crashed our like colossal f oh no that doesn't work I was thinking you could have like crashed colossal fighters and then like attacked like and gotten damage in but no it just summons immediately I'm actually really glad that I drew the mind control because if I didn't we would have had to do a really stupid thing which is look up who targets first for Colossal Fighter. Because if it's active turn player, you always lose the Colossal Fighter because they can just target your target, right? Uh, oh, but it, God, yeah. Right? It's so disgusting. Just an extremely <sighs> bad set of circumstances that comes up exactly in scenarios like this and in no other positions. What a miserable ass fucking game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I don't know. Well, if your turn... Because we had another Colossal Fighter in Grave as well. That so changes I'm, things for sure, yeah. Right. Right. If we just had the two, but even then, I, I think I see what you, I, I get what you're saying. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyone who played during this time, I'm sure will know how that works. Yeah. So here's what would happen hypothetically. I attack my Colossal Fighter that's a 36 yep. into yep. Alex's 36 Colossal Fighter. They both go to the grave. Let's say I target first. I target my own Colossal Fighter because Colossal Fighter doesn't have to target a warrior from your graveyard. Right. Alex also targets my Colossal Fighter and gets his first. Right. How does that work? I, I just don't know. And I mean, that could have like, if we fucked that up, I mean, that could have been game determinative as well. But yeah, I felt so good with the DD Crow because anything you would have done with like a zombie master, Mizuki, whatever, because I knew you had plague spreader in grave as well. So I was thinking you were either going to like zombie master, bring something back or like get Mizuki and then like normal Mizuki, put the card back on top to get plague and then go into like a Goyo just to hit in for the damage. And then I could have like crowed the plague spreader to stop that from happening. That, that oh, was game. unfortunate, Un unfortunate. I and wow, burial would have been kind of crazy actually. You kept in the burials. Uh, I, I took them one. out. I thought they I, were a little high roll. I kept one in. I, I figured that like two of it was was a bit high rolly, but I figured it does have utility because like with Mizuki and stuff as well, being able to like get so many cards back and then like maybe recycle, uh, you know, plagues or different things. I don't know. I figured one could come up. I mean, this mm -hmm. was, I think it was fun to show this off. This deck was fucking sick and oh, definitely yeah. a different tune than the uh, Teledad match we played in the previous episode, which was just the more raw form of the deck, right? And we got to see, yeah. I think we really got to see Card of Safe Return for the first time, like really go off. And like, it obviously took until this point for that to be the case. Damn, did that just feel unbeatable when that resolved? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, um, I'm, I'm really happy about this episode. I was concerned because I was like, a mirror, god damn it, and it's the worst deck on the wheel. Uh, but this showcased not only how strong dad was, I mean, you just blew out my back walls as soon as that card showed up. It took a brain control to beat it. Um, it also showed just how explosive any deck with e Telly can be. Yep. I mean, wow, wow, wow. I, I found myself so often being like, oh yeah, you know, I could Armageddon Knight, send a Mizuki, we can get a guy. Goblin Zombie out tempo Alex, or I could send Malicious and make two eights. You know that seems pretty good too. Uh, and with with the current pool of eights, things get out of hand pretty much immediately. Yeah, and I mean, again, when I had that board prior to Lightning Vortexing me, can I just say, Lightning Vortex into Mind Control? Unbelievable. But I mean, <laughs> the the fact that my board at one point was Stardust, Double Goyo, Colossal Fighter, Thought Ruler, like aside from exactly like Lightning Vortex, I don't know like how the fuck you're beating that. <laughs> I basically from the Crush card was like, well, gotta draw Lightning Vortex. Vortex. Uh, I also love seeing Threatening Roar. Um, it hasn't come up in our games yet, but Threatening yeah. Roar was hugely determinative, especially when you saw in games two and three. Even if I pop all the way off and summon all these synchro monsters from my extra deck, if you get one turn, you can equalize super easily. Yeah. And it takes something like a Vortex to get back into the game from that position. Like we were setting cards and passing. That's because the first person who blinked lost. I think that, especially with that card as well, there isn't just a card that's going to like destroy a trap card other than let's say what i mean dark arm dragon realistically yeah. i mean we these decks do play like heavy storm and giant true nade but these decks in particular weren't playing many traps at all so i don't know about you but like i boarded them out yeah i it, i it, there are some trap cards in the format but gores is also in the format and you're gonna yeah. pass that up to play what fucking bottomless trap hole i don't think so exactly and so i mean threatening war is just nice too because i mean again like you said my hand when i did that whole crack back against you was mm -hmm. foolish burial Armageddon Knight, Psychic Commander, which I shuffled back for the Plague Spreader. I think a Plague Spreader in my hand as well. 
So like those four cards were able to get me double Goyo, which basically turned the entire board on its head. I mean, it, it seems like a somewhat awkward combination of cards as well. But I mean, the fact that just like that, like you said, a single turn, that can sometimes be all it takes. And with Dark Arm Dragon as well, I, I saw that when I initially crush carded you, had I not had crush card, then Dark Arm Dragon could have actually just come down because your graveyard at that point, I believe was Krebon's Mally Krebon's. So if yep. you were to have drawn Dark Arm without crush card being in the mix, you could could have just slammed it right and then that was just mm -hmm. another just big bomb you could have dropped it's it's been really cool these past few episodes just seeing how much the synchros added to the game it's not oh, yeah. like when xyz's first entered at least from what i can remember because the first pool of XYZ's you get a were, utopia and you jam it in an extra deck yeah, that and like absolutely a, doesn't need it right yeah. and like a maze stroke and just these cards that are like fine right, right? but these i mean goyo colossal fighter stardust dragon thought i think the only ones we really haven't summoned aside from like the bad ones are black rose because it really just hasn't come up for us and uh mm -hmm. the hot red dragon archfiend which is a little bit conditional to be actually good but I mean, yeah. each game we have been just jamming like five synchro monsters a game and it has just been an absolute blast. <laughs> I was interested in using my entire extra deck this time. Um, the Psychic Commander is in here so you can make sevens. Uh, Black Rose and Psychic Life Transfer. Black Rose to yep. beat board states where you're way behind. Psychic yep. Life Transfer to uh, extend a win where you're way down on life uh, but you might get like blown out by a stupid burn spell or a bad attack. Right. Um, Red Dragon Archfiend uh, was going to be my play before i drew lightning vortex i had no other way of outing so many monsters and keeping a monster on my side of the field that wouldn't die to goyo guardian sure like um everything in this extra deck saw play with the exception of maybe magical android which is still necessary for corner cases i mean yeah. it, it is staggering seeing how wildly influential the first batch of synchros are they are all-time powerful cards to this day People know Stardust Dragon. They know Red Dragon Archfiend. They remember losing to Goyo Guardian. They still have in their brains somewhere some sort of tally on how many attack points Colossal Fighter has gained. <laughs> I mean, these really were something. And in a format that's already so powerful with Dad, uh, they were they were a breath of fresh air to a Yugi playing populace that was sick of bricking. And we even got to show off one of the more niche synchros in Doom Kaiser Dragon. And I'm honestly kind of happy we got to show this off He's because so good. it's so good in this matchup specifically because your opponent is on zombies and to be fair i actually <laughs> yeah i yeah. don't think it's actually that bad against regular matchups as well because plague spreaders were played in every dark arm dragon deck so you could hypothetically steal your opponent's plague spreader zombie and that allows you to go into either another eight if you have mali or use the doom kaiser as well you can go to a six if you have like a mizuki or a zombie master from some sort of special summon so I think even in those matchups, it comes up. And so this is, you know, one of the more underutilized cards from Crossroads of Chaos. But it, even this just shows like how just getting a special summon out of your opponent's graveyard, albeit conditional, was just absolutely pivotal during this time. I mean, you got to pull it off in this match and it was actually crazy for you. It was nuts. Yeah. Uh, one of the one of the very few ways you can come back versus a board of double fucking Goyo Guardian. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video. Uh, wow, that was an absolute slaughter. I'm still in the shirt of shame, unfortunately, but I feel like I played a little bit better that time so at least it wasn't as bad losing to fucking brain control lightning vortex uh mind control but there's probably some things i could have done better maybe i should have set necro uh, guard off of the, off of the yeah uh, no Armageddon i was night. actually horrified that you would yeah uh but you know necro garden as a side alex uh i was not only controlling minds and brains i believe i am now in control of the total tally you are you've officially Ooh. taken the lead congratulations buddy you've <laughs> earned it you had a two you had to claw your way to the top and you've earned oh, it so i'm God. sure uh, team mbt is gonna be pretty happy for that one down in the comments we have to shout out our patrons though so big shout out to shout out 1317 shot all jr joshua schley show tagging cameron smith and gayoko tim zero zero x3 echo iron fang pony starkey and musa michael dente dan the manhoven part two synchro guy mystic walk sylvia wild in unit show draconic dolly Wop, jarvis martin logan thomas peter gregory thomas nelson jordan coons kelvin colty iron Bladesman, pure Race, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Gage's Third Leg, Lumpy, Nehru, Celeste, David Lou, Rockley Through 25, Lane Rogers, Silent Agent 216, I Side and Gren Maju and Salad, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Yusuf Asian 05, Garthox DOW, John Two Base, Apathy Astro, Brody Eastwood, Dace Allen, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Speedroider Riot, and Shane Corrin. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.